Stay encouraged with One Church in Two States. Stream with us for virtual services from Atlanta with Bishop Paul S. Morton and Changing a Generation. Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. Word Explosion Bible Study, Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. All services are Eastern Standard Time. We, we don't have to be like the world. We are different. God has designed us. He's given us the plan. He showed us the plan. And all we got to do is follow the plan. Join Changing a Generation for live stream on Facebook, Apple TV, Roku, YouTube, and our new CAG website, www.cagnow.org. Stream with us for virtual services from New Orleans with Dr. Deborah B. Morton and Greater St. Stephen. Sunday mornings at 1030 a.m. Word Explosion Bible Study, Wednesdays at 7 p.m. All services are Central Standard Time. You think you're fierce. God can be fierce, and he is a great God, but he's also, somebody shout on, a merciful God. Daniel said, I know you, I know you. You're fierce and dreadful, but on the other side, you're merciful and you're full of promise. I feel like praising him right now. Join Crater St. Stephen for live stream on Facebook, YouTube, and our new GSS website, www.houseofgreater.org. It's a greater change. Coming up on Greater Change Ministries. Maybe you want to let your guard down because you feel like I've done all to stand. No, watch, still stand because I'm here to tell you Satan is going to come at you another way. I wish I could sweeten it up for you, but that's the job of Satan. He knows that his time is short, so he's going to do everything that he can to work on your nerves. He's going to do everything that he can to try to kill, steal, destroy. But guess what? Devil, take your best shot. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. And you will not tear God's kingdom down. Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. From Changing a Generation Full Gospel Baptist Church in Atlanta, Georgia, and Greater St. Stephen Full Gospel Baptist Church in New Orleans, Louisiana, pastored by Bishop Paul S. Morton and Dr. Deborah B. Morton, welcomes you to the Greater Change Outreach Ministry. Trying to change what's wrong to right And it seems as though that no one really cares Oh, oh, oh. The world is such a mess When will it end? Will things get better than what's been? I know that day Soon to shortly come, I can already feel it. Now, prepare for a life changing experience. Well, God bless you, my brothers and sisters. I greet you in divine love. Listen, this is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Listen. God has given me a word for you today. In fact, I preached this word from the Mother Church, Greater St. Stephen. Pastor D serves as senior pastor as we celebrated 84 years. Greater St. Stephen has been a light in a dark place. I preached a word. It was a living testimony. I'm still standing. Listen, God's been good to me and I know he's been good to you. Let's go in and hear this word now. I'm still standing. Ephesians, the sixth chapter. And let's look at verse 13. And this is what the Bible says. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand. First part of verse 14 says, stand therefore. So I want to talk about on our 84th church anniversary, 
I'm still standing. Why don't you holler it over to your neighbor? Tell him, I'm still standing. Let, let's look at this today because what is this all which Paul holds done? This is what Paul says, having done all. Well, two views may be taken this morning. We may understand Paul as saying either having prepared all or having overcome all. Well, well let's look at it. Let's look at it for a moment because he takes the word Stand, stand as referring to a standing when the battle is over. Take the whole armor of God. This is what Paul tells us today. Then you will not only triumph in the evil day. But you will hold on and hold out when the evil day has gone by. So with our enemies, this discloses the particular dangers that this implies. And I want to talk about it just for a few moments. Because people of God, you will not only be triumphant in the midst of the conflict you will be safe in the calm that succeeds it hmm. now now looking at this looking at this today do the words contain an anticlimax is, is there is there something tame and depressing in the ring of these words? And would we rather expect the test to read like this instead of the way that it reads? Is there somebody you would rather for the text to read like this after having done all to stand, we may exalt. Having done all to stand, we may honorably rest because I've been working hard after I've done all to stand. Rest. Rest amid applauds of those around us. Rest in the midst of the approval of our conscience. Rest in the favor of God. But it doesn't say that. It says, having done all to stand, stand, as, as if there was nothing in store for us more attractive than that? You mean after doing all to stand, all you're going to do is tell me to stand? Can I rest? I mean, I've done all to stand. Can I be exalted to a new level after all I've done to stand? No. Here's what the word of God says. After you've done all to stand. Stand. Oh, God. I wanted you to see this today. Day because it is important because many people are surprised to find the truth put in this way and disappointed in the close it leads up to. Maybe, maybe you are disappointed. But the more we watch life 
around us. The more we trace the workings and the history of our own treacherous hearts, the more we acknowledge the rule of thought, and confess to the possibilities of the dangers that it suggests. So long. So long as we know that danger and defeat, danger and defeat may be closest to us in the hour when victory seems complete. So don't get the big head after I done all to stand and I completed a victory. And you want to say, after I done all to stand, let me relax. No. That's what the devil wants. Hear the word after, after having done all to stand, not, not having done all to relax, not having done all to take it easy because we are still in spiritual warfare. So in, in the good times, in the bad times, I've come through some tests. We've been through a storm, a hurricane. We've been through a fire in these 84 years. We've had some ups and some downs. We've done all to stand. What did you come to talk about today, Bishop? I'm here to tell you, keep on standing. It's not time for you to take off your whole army because the armor, because the moment you take off your whole armor, that's when the devil will get busy. Secondly, in order that we may fulfill the one duty of standing, there are three duties, and I'll tell you quickly, that we must engage in. Number one, and remember this, speak it in your mask. <laughs> we must watch. Af after you've done all to stand, you must watch. Watch. Because the assault has been met and victoriously won. You withstood the test. The difficulty has been faced. Just a hurricane. Man, we're coming through COVID-19. Difficulty has been faced. And, 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 and for some it's signaling, it's signaling as, 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 as even the vaccine comes around and things that we need to do and, and wearing masks more and social distancing because we know how important it is. Maybe you want to let your guard down because you feel like I've done all to stand. No, watch, still stand because I'm here to tell you Satan is going to come at you another way. I wish I could sweeten it up for you, but that's the job of Satan. He knows that his time is short, so he's going to do everything that he can to work on your nerves. He's going to do everything that he can to try to kill, steal, destroy. But guess what? Devil, take your best shot. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. And you will not tear God's kingdom down. Watch. But secondly, we must work. Number one, watch. But we must work. 
we must work because we have engaged in one kind of Christian activity. And you completed that one kind of Christian activity and you completed it with success. Earning the thanks of friends. Ooh, you hung on in there, baby. Ooh, I know what you've been through, but I saw how strong you stood. You got the approval of your conscience. I know that I did my best. I worked my best. I did all I can, could, to get over this situation. Even heard God say, well done. You did a great job. But can I tell you, we are not absolved from further effort. Be careful. Because the decline of Christian character often fails in the end. Even to stand. I mean, it lies in deficiency at this point. Because sometimes when you become so successful, you forget where you come from. And when you think you're all of this and you're all of that, that's when God has to bring you down because pride comes before fall. Also, I'm here to tell you, you got to keep on working. Keep on working. You ain't all of that just because you won a victory in the past. You got to keep on winning victories every day. Dear Lord, help me to win another victory. Help me to conquer Tell somebody, work it, work it, work it, work it, work it. Oh, I wish I could tell you today, ah, oh, take it easy now. No, work it, work it, work it. There's still a lot to do in this spiritual warfare. I'm on the battlefield for my Lord. I promise him that I would serve him till I die die. That's why I'm still standing. You still up? You've been through this? You've been through that? Yes, I'm still standing. Devil, I ain't gonna lay down on my job. I know where God has brought me from. Finally, we must pray. <sighs> Got to pray. Just because God's been good to you doesn't mean you stop praying. Some of y'all, y'all was praying every day during Hurricane Katrina. But things got easy. He can't get you to pray no more. Mm, y'all done got quiet, but I... If, if, if you keep saying amen, I can see the mass moving. I can see the mass moving. We, 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 must, we must pray. Pray, of course, in the hour of conflict. But pray especially when the conflict is over. You want to pray and you want everybody to pray for you when you're going through. Can't get out of the church good. Can't get out of the church good. Pray for me. Pray for me. I'm going through. I'm going through. I'm going through. But what about when you come out? It doesn't mean that you stop praying, but you got to trust God like never before because that's when Satan will put you to the test. But I come to speak it today to tell you I'm still standing. Happy is the one who watches always still standing. Happy is the one who works always still standing. Happy is the one who prays always still standing. I say it again. Happy is the one who watches always still standing. Happy is the one who works always still standing. Happy 
happy is the one who prays always. And I'm not going to put my armor down until this battle is over. The old folks said, when I can read my titles clear to mansions in the sky, I bid farewell to every sigh and tear. That's when I'll wipe my weeping eyes and say that it's over. I dare you to just say, I'm still standing. I feel preaching in this place. Stand through the rain. Stand through the storm. Some of you were here before I got here. 38 years ago, Pastor. But it doesn't mean we stop standing. Ain't no retirement in the vineyard of the master. You got to fight on. You got to pray on. You got to live on. You got to sing on. You got to preach on. You got to shout on. Because one of these old legs, I won't have to stand down here no more. So we ought to shout because God has been good. Shout because he's made a way out of nowhere. Ah! I give you the glory. I give you the praise. God's been good to me. Started pastoring at 24 years old. Energy, youth. But today I'm 70 years old. But I got the same pastor. I'm still standing. Now don't wait till the battle is over. Need somebody shout now, shout, 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 shout. Is there anybody you're glad about it? Happy anniversary, happy birthday, Greater Saint Stephen. Thank you for not giving up. Thank you. Many still can't come to the house of God. But thank you. You're still watching. Thank you. You're still working. Thank you. You're still praying. Thank you. Some of you even learned. You didn't even know how to do it. But you even learned how to press the button. Giving your tithes and your offerings to the Lord. We're still standing. We're still standing. Standing, I, I ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. Nobody, 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 nobody gonna turn me around. Nobody get out the way, COVID. You ain't gonna turn me around. Pandemic, get out of the way. You ain't gonna turn me around. God will be there. The Lord will. The Lord will. The Lord will. The Lord will. Just need some prayer warriors. Just. Need some poor warriors, 
Yeah, Lord, we bind COVID-19 right now. Just need, put on your armor, put on your armor. We need you, Lord, to bring deliverance to this nation. Uh, we watch, we watch people try to overthrow the United States of America. <laughs> trying to destroy democracy for dictatorship but what they didn't know there's still a church still standing devil you can't get in the way devil you can't get in the way victory victory is ours as we stand on the Word of God. Hold on. Hold out. God will see you. Well, praise God, praise God. Oh, my God, it's just so good being at the Mother Church. Thank you, Pastor D. Thank you, Greater Saint Stephen. I am who I am because of you, and I give God the glory. Listen, I'm still standing. Victory is yours, and I want you to claim it in your life. I don't care what you're going through. I'm still standing. Well, our time is gone. I hope you have been blessed. May God bless you. May God keep you. This is our prayer as we continue to change a generation, a greater change. I'm still standing. I'm still standing. With over 45 years of ministry, both nationally and internationally, Bishop Paul S. Morton's YouTube channel is designed to minister to the mind, body, and spirit. Stop calling what's already there. Stop calling your healing because the healing is about to take. I come all the way to Johannesburg to speak to somebody tonight and you got to speak it in your own life. Satan, you cannot have my mind. Ah, my mind belongs to Jesus. Subscribe to Bishop Paul S. Morton YouTube channel today. Next week on Greater Change Ministries. Forget failures that paralyze your hopes and your dreams. There is no place in your past life that is so bad that you cannot be victorious. I'm not going to let my past get me down. I'm not going to let my failures in the past get me down. Lord, I am trusting you for the future right now that you're going to make a way, that you're going to open up a door, and I'm going to be better. In fact, you got to speak it in your life. No weapon that is formed against me will prosper. you got to believe that. All things are changing.